Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Pinty and I'm back here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best solo drop spots for arena and tournaments. I'll be telling you the most passive drop spots as all the aggressive ones are obvious. The last drop I'll be telling you is so broken that you need to watch the whole video to see it. I am not joking. If you use that drop, you will thank me so much for it. It will most likely get patched soon, so make sure to abuse it after I show you how to do it. Now, if you're looking to improve at Fortnite as a player and are looking to place in future comps, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. Make sure to use code PINTY in the item shop to support your boy, and if we get 25 supporters, I'll post for 5 days straight. Hashtag ad. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Misty Mountains. Now guys, I can't even explain to you how good this first drop is. This is the most underrated and useful drop known to man. I use this for so many tournaments and it has always led me into a very strong endgame with good loot and mats. This will give you great materials, fish and loot. The way I find best to loot is to first line up on the top mountain and grab the first two chest spawns. Then I recommend you to make your way down to this chest spawn while farming some easy brick. Then go down to this four chest house. This house might be contested once in a while so if it is, look for a quick beam and push ASAP as you will have high ground in this fight. But if it isn't contested, then go loot it and grab some great loot. After that, move on to the zipline and drop down into the valley. Then grab a fishing rod from the fishing hut and then grab yourself a ton of fish. Then when the ring pulls, use the boat to rotate around the map and then get the best dead side zones ever. Make sure to watch the whole video as all the drops are worth trying out. The second best solo drop I found were the three broken houses on top of the map. These houses are on the edge of the map which means you won't be contested here much. This also has a lot of brick and wood to farm so it will be stacked with materials from the start of the game. It has a total of 8 chest spawns which is more than enough for a solo player. In fact, this drop used to be used as a door drop spot before. So after you finish looting the chest and the floor spawns, go to the east side of the map and fish out the countless fishing holes which are sp would spawn there. Now you will be stacked on shields, meds, guns and materials. And if you really want to save shields, you can loot up quickly and go grab the slurp truck towards the center of the map. Then you just rotate in and do whatever you want to do. You can either be aggressive and go for a high kill dub with good loot or you can play it safe and go for just the win. Or you can use the boat to rotate around the map if this is a tournament and you want to play it really, really safe. Don't go anywhere yet. There is more you need to watch. Now, are you ready for the most broken meta of season five? This is literally game changing and it is pretty much the most broken thing in the game right now. Now, some of you might know what I'm talking about. Yes. I'm talking about the new zero point fish and the rift fish. Now if you don't already know, the rift fish works like the old rifter goes and the new zero point fish gives you the ability to dash forward which is also so OP. Now I have found a way to get so many of these fish. I'm sure it is going to get patched soon so make sure to do what I say and abuse it as much as you can. Now the simplest way to get a ton of zero point fish and rift fish is simply by using a blue fishing rod. So out of the 5 fish I fished, I got the new fish 4 times. Now, some of you might have watched Aussie Antics' video and may think about going to Camp Cod. But I have found a better place as Camp Cod is going to get contested way too much for this trick. You should go to Flopper Island. I don't know if this is a glitch but recently on Fortnite.gg, it shows you so many more fishing holes. It shows a total of 22 fishing holes. I'm sure that you know that is OP. In fact, Camp Cod only shows 14 fishing holes. So landing at Flopper Island is going to be the new meta. The looting route I have found for you guys has a total of 7 chest spawns, which isn't too bad but I'm sure the fishing holes will cover in for it. After looting all the chests and fishing holes, you will be so stacked on heals and mobility. After this, you can either WQ or play safe for the dub. That's it for today guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to like, subscribe and turn the notification bell on. If you made it this far into the video, make sure to comment keyboard in the comment section below. If you do have any questions, DM me on my Insta at pinty.fm. Make sure to use code pinty in the item shop for a shout out, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.